Hey, in this video, I'm gonna do an overview and a review of Big View, which is a browser and mobile app that helps you to create and edit videos, add captions, and a whole host of other features, and it also has a very handy teleprompter for when you're recording. Now, there's a lot to explore within Big View, but it's all very self-explanatory, and they even have a lot of tutorials on all the basics. So I'm not gonna do a deep dive into every single feature because I like to try and keep my videos concise and get into the pros and cons of this software. Now, if you stick with me to the end, I'll show you how you can get a lifetime deal for this software um, and avoid all their monthly pricing. But just remember this offer is temporary. So um, you can check the link in the description of this video down below to see if it's still available. And let's dive in. So here we are inside the Big View dashboard. Uh, I'll cover this in a second. On the left here, you've got the navigation. So I'll just show you what these are. So this is the pages. Um, section so here you can actually create a full page for your video um, that's also like a landing page and you can have your own branding on it um, with the video as the main focus and you can also direct your custom domain name to this page as well so really good for branding here you've got a whole section on branding so this is you know everything from adding your own logo brand colors fonts and even creating your own themes these two media library and connections collections that's just um, all of your media assets that you've uploaded that you can uh, edit within there here is your social channel so you can actually share all of these videos to all your different social media and then this is add member. So if you're working as part of a team, you can add in different members for collaboration on creating these videos. So here we've got the projects. Um, you can see my project here down below. So up here, you've got the new script. So you can actually um, do a script editor um, for your teleprompter and you can also go live here. Um, you can import videos that you've already made and you can add captions to them and you can also uh, import a video and then replace a green screen. Now, I don't have a green screen. Um, I wish I did. Uh, so I can't test out that feature, but that's just another cool addition to this collection of tools here. Um, so down here is the project. So if we click this, this is one I um, recorded earlier today. So this is the script here. So as you can see, you can just create the script. Um, just This is just a sample script. Um, and this is the video itself here. And when you've typed in your script, um, you can just click read and record, and then you'll it'll pop up with a new window, um, which I'll show you uh, a little bit later. And then the teleprompter will come up too, and you can just record your video there. And you can also do the live streaming here, which is really cool. But before I show you um, everything else on the desktop version, I just want to show you how it looks inside the mobile app. So I've just got my phone up and we're inside the app now. As you can see, this is one of the um, projects that I've created here. All you have to do if you want to create a new video, you just click this plus icon and you can um, record, go straight into recording. You can import a video or you can um, go into the script editor. Um, I just want to show you a couple of features here. Um, this one, if you scroll down, this has got all of the, uh, a load of different video tutorials um, just on the basics of Big View. Uh, even things like camera skills and all sorts of other things. So really cool, really handy. Um, and then this one, I'll just show you a couple of the settings. So if we go into the teleprompter prompter settings here, um, I'll just cover a couple of these ones. This one's quite important, I reckon. So obviously as you're recording, you don't want to have notifications or pings coming in that will distract you and um, will mess up the recording a bit. This is the um, words per minute. So this is how fast the teleprompter is scrolling. Uh, so these you'll have to just kind of um, have a mess around with them and see which ones work best for you. Uh, this again is the uh, adjust the teleprompter speed depending on how many words are on each line. This is the text position. So you can actually change it to um, be center left or right. So I would recommend um, depending on where your phone camera is on your phone making the text position match that so if your camera is on the left put the text position on the left because that means and, and vice you know if same if it's center or right and that's because you want to be looking most uh, closely to the camera so it looks like you're actually looking at, into the camera rather than reading off a script and then this one um, pause on silence so this is where the teleprompter will pause every time 
um, you stop talking. Uh, and that's quite handy if you just need to take a break or anything like that, and then you can obviously edit it out. Um, so I'll show you how this works inside the actual recording in a second. Okay, so let's actually show you what it looks like with the camera. So we'll go to the dashboard here, the projects. Uh, and this is um, one of my projects, obviously, and you can see how many takes you've got there. So when you click on inside the project, you can see I've actually recorded this a few times um, and it's very easy to just do a new take um, and you can re-record if you make a mistake or something like that. Now this one with the cloud icon, that's been uploaded and shared with the, um, so you can actually access it inside the browser. So that's cool. And up here you've got the script, so you can just check out the script here. This is just a sample script that they give you. So let's show you what an actual video looks like. So you'll see my face here. Um, and obviously you can see the teleprompter script here, but um, that's not gonna come out in the actual video itself. Uh, up here you can edit the settings again. Here you can resize the um, video, uh, sorry, the um, teleprompter script size. Uh, here you can adjust the font. Um, size of that and then you can adjust the the speed of the teleprompter here you can adjust the start point so if you want to start later on in the script you can do that and you can also change the exposure so how much light is coming into the camera there um, and then you can flip the camera here and you can also if you change it to um, that way you can change the um, the orientation there we'll just stick with this one and um, let's show you what it actually looks like when you start recording. So I like that it gives you a little prompt there to look at the camera. So I'm not gonna say what uh, is actually coming up on the teleprompter, but this gives you uh, an idea of what works. And if I pause, the teleprompter pauses too, um, which is really cool and means if you need to take a break, you can. Uh, and that's all there is to it, really cool. So let's stop this recording now. And then right here, you can just click new take if you've made a mistake or something like that. You can make edits to your title and script here. Um, we'll cover word trim in a second. Uh, this is where within the app, you can obviously edit the video, um, add in all your branding, all those kind of things. Um, and then when you're ready to, if you want to add it onto your browser, into, uh, so you can access it on, on the browser, you just click upload here. So this is inside word trim. So what this allows you to do is you can actually Rather than just cropping and editing the video, you can crop and edit the video by um, with the text itself. So let's just click here to start. And Pause. we'll end it here. And we'll create a copy. So now we'll go back into the browser so I can show you how the recording looks like there. If you're finding this video helpful so far, please give it a like so we can get out to more people. So now we're back into the browser and I wanna show you one of the few small criticisms I have about um, big, the big view editor on inside the browser. Um, so this is the script again, uh, the same video we were doing earlier. And I'll show you what it looks like if you record a video here. So you click read and record, it'll pop up with another window. Um, and then this just shows you uh, the script here. And obviously you can make the exact same changes to the script and everything like that. Um, just so you're aware, my recording software isn't, it messes everything up if I um, change the camera, so it's not gonna show my, my face and uh, it's gonna have this little pop-up, but um, you can see here the teleprompter in the background and here you can set the camera and yeah, make all the same adjust adjustments there. Um, now the issue with recording on, on a um, desktop, laptop, anything like that, is your, oftentimes your camera is much higher up above the screen. So when I did a few test runs of recording on desktop, it looked like I was reading off the screen and it looked like I wasn't looking at the camera. You can do to mitigate this problem, what I've done in the past is make the, so you can obviously check, make changes to the, to, to the size of the window here and it's responsive to a point, but once you get it quite small, uh, it stops being responsive and cuts off part of the teleprompter. One of the um, things that I like to do to kind of mitigate the problem of you not looking at the camera. So what I like to do is make the, the window very small, bring it up as close to the camera as I can, um, and then read off the teleprompter there. And it looks like your eyes are looking closer to the camera, but the um, response it's not very responsive to that point. So obviously a very small thing, but um, that's something I wanted to bring up. Okay, so next we want to 
actually edit the video. So I'll just give you a very brief overview of what you can do with the editing here. So um, you just click that little paintbrush to get into the editing section. So you can actually edit the aspect ratio of the video here, um, depending on where you want to post it. You can change the theme too. So if you want to um, add in and change the lower thirds, you can do that there with all sorts of different styles. And here you've got um, background music, so you can actually um, add in some royalty free background music um, provided by Big View. So that's a, another cool feature. Um, you can add in your logo here too. Um, and then you can just select where you want to add in the logo if you want it at the top of the video or wherever. And you can also even add in your outro. So, like a, uh, they call it like a business card um, outro. So you can even add that to your video as well. So um, cool features within the video editing platform, I guess a suite of tools that BigView offers. So now I wanna get into the main pros and cons of this software. Uh, I mean, to start with, there's so many things I love because there's just so many features packed into BigView. Um, I love that you can sync between your mobile and the desktop. So like I said before, when I, I like to type up the script on desktop and then you can, um, actually record it on mobile. Uh, you can actually, you know, editing the video in browser and mob on mobile as well and all the op different video editing options that you have available. And it's also just extremely user-friendly. Um, as you can see throughout when I was recording and editing, it's a real simple process. And the teleprompter itself is just great, especially on the mobile version, because, you know, worrying about what you're saying is one of the biggest hurdles when you first start making videos. So it just completely takes that out. Uh, I also like that it's, quick and easy to record a new take, as you saw um, on the mobile version of the app, you could just, um, all you have to do is just click the record to take a new take and it's simple as that. I love that it's just so simple and easy to record a new take. You know, if you've recorded videos in the past, you know how easy it is to make mistakes. It's great to just be able to very quickly click record and take a new take. And as a company, they've obviously just been paying attention to their users. Uh, I checked out an old review and it was a very positive review, but they just have a few comments about not being able to record on desktop and also wanting the ability to um, point the landing page to a custom domain name just for branding, um, and both of which have now been addressed. So it's great that they're constantly implementing new features and improving on their existing ones. In terms of cons, to be honest, there's not really too many cons. Like I've covered all the amazing features, uh, especially when you get it for just that low one-time price that I'm about to cover in a second, it just makes it even better. Uh, there's a minor issue with recording on desktop that I already covered. Um, not really anything they can do about that, it's just how, um, desktop computers, laptops are built. The other things that I've got are just kind of more suggestions to improve what's already a great product. So firstly, it would be great if you had the ability to pause a recording and then keep going partway through a script, just if you needed to take a break or if you needed to think about something. Uh, and also, if you could change the camera from front to back as you're recording, that would just help um, improve, I guess, the variety of videos that you can produce. Another thing is I often like to go off script or on a tangent or start expanding on a script. So I'd love it if you could somehow pause and play the teleprompter while you're recording just in case that happens. Now, like I said, these are all very minor things, so I'd definitely recommend checking it out if you're creating any kind of video. Like I mentioned before, there is actually a lifetime deal on offer right now for a limited time. Uh, all you have to do is just click the link in the description to access it. It's through AppSumo. Um, so if you get onto the link here, um, we'll view the plans here. It starts at $69 for a one-time price lifetime deal. Um, you get access to all these features and then they have a couple of other options, but these are more just for if you have a big team or something like that, you get all the features included uh, and this just the, the different prices are more for if you want more users or more devices or anything like that. There's a really low price just for this app with all of these amazing features. This deal is actually part of a bigger promotion right now through AppSumo called the YouTube Starter Pack. I looked at a few of the other software deals. Uh, Big View is definitely my favorite, but there's some other great tools in there, so I recommend checking it out too, and there's a link for that, that in the description as well. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, keep taking daily imperfect action, and I'll see you in another video.